what's life without a vision in business having a coherent vision is what drives us towards excellence we at giridari homes strive to fulfill people's five star living dreams with our happy and healthy communities we at giridari homes have completed 2 million square feet of happiness and 1 million square feet is in the pipeline our association with kancharla which has a illustrious track record in making world class resorts and a world class golf course has been amazing this has been a key milestone for us and has drove our collective vision notches higher now we are all geared up to realize haldi which is the world class golfing community which hosts luxury villa spaces in the country we are beaming with excitement and renewed energy looking at the progress happening in haldi every day Kapil, how's it going? Hi, Rupinder. How are you? That was a beautiful shot, Paji. Thank you. Meet my friend Ashish. Hi, Ashish. Hi, Rupinder. Please help him out. He wants to learn golf. Sure. I'll take Ashish through the game. Thank you. Good luck. All the best. You enjoy your round. So let's get deep, Ashish. It is pretty simple. The objective of this game is to get the ball into the target hole that has a flag in as few shots as possible. This is done across 18 holes. Now let's get back in time. It all started in the Verdure Scottish Highlands, where true Scots preferred a game of golf over sword fighting. Then, the first 18-hole golf course started in 1764 in St Andrews, Scotland, the home of golf. Golf's reputation peaked through the 50s and 60s with legendary golfers like Arnold Palmer, Gary Player and Jack Nicklaus. Did you know golf was also the first game to be played on the moon in 1971 when astronaut and golfer Alan Shepard turned the Apollo 14 landing site into a driving range. Later, golfers like Fred Couples, Michelle Wee and Tiger Woods elevated the game's profile and made it mainstream. Now, golf is picking up in India too with ace golfers like Jeev Milka Singh, Arjun Atwal Jyoti Randhawa, Anirban Lehri, Aditi Ashok and prominent figures like Satguru and Kapil Dev picking it up as a hobby. Now let's talk about the game. The smooth surface is the fairway, a part of the golf course that leads to the green. The finely mowed area is the green. The thick grass on either side of the fairway is called the rough. The depression filled with sand is called the bunker. It increases the game's difficulty. Anything that comes between you and getting the golf ball into the hole, a stream, pond or bunker is a penalty area. This wooden peg is called the tee. You put the ball on the tee and then you take a shot. Every stroke starts at the tee box and ends at the hole. Finally, it's all about how you swing the club. A standard 18-hole golf course has a power of 72 and each hole in the golf course in turn has its own power. There are three types of power. Say for part three, you have to drive the ball into the hole in three strokes. Similarly, four strokes for par four and par five. Par is the standard number of strokes one should take to get the golf ball from the tee to the hole. For example, let's think of a par where the maximum strokes that a player can use are five. That is called par five. Let me tell you about the scoring system. The lesser points you score, the better your performance will be. Some general terms regarding scoring are Ace is a hole in one stroke. Albatross also called a double eagle, is three strokes under par. Eagle is two strokes under par. Birdie is one stroke under par. Even par is five strokes. Bogey is one stroke above par. Double bogey is two strokes above par. Triple bogey is three strokes above par. 
The golf ball has an elaborate history. It started with a rudimentary wooden ball, later became a ball made of hair and feather. The golf ball eventually graduated to a solid multi-layered core, which also increased its flying distance. Okay. I have an interesting question. Sure, Ashish, please. Why this pattern on the ball? I mean, is there a particular reason behind it? As I know, there's always a meaning to design, right? Oh yeah, Ashish, there is a meaning to it. The dimples on the golf ball reduce air drag around the ball and enhances its flight time. Ah, such a deep meaning behind. So this was a brief history about the golf ball, Ashish. Thanks, Rupendra. You're welcome. Golf clubs are designed to hit the ball to a diverse range. An ideal golf set consists of different clubs. Every golf club comes with a number on it. The clubs with a lower number are meant to hit the ball to a longer distance. The clubs with a higher number are meant to hit the ball a shorter distance. Here, have a look at it. So the golf club consists of three components. This is called the grip. This is where you hold the club from. This part is called the shaft. It's also called the engine of the club. And this is the club head. It's a key component of the golf club. This is the club face. This is the part that comes in contact with the ball. The overall control of the golf ball depends on how the club face impacts the ball. So how many clubs can we carry? Well, in tournament golf, you're only allowed to carry 14 clubs. Otherwise, you might get penalized. Oh, is it? Why are these looking so different? Good question. Well, actually, there are five different types of golf club. Driver, hybrid, irons, wedges, and putter. This is the driver. It is used for a tee shot from the tee box. This club is meant to put the ball as far as possible. We refer to it as woods, because back in the day, it was made of solid wood. Modern drivers are made of titanium. Now, to the irons. This is the most used club on the course. As the name suggests, the club head of these are made of cast iron. Let's talk about the wedge now. This club comes in handy around the greens. It is used to put the ball as close as possible to the hole. The ball generally lands soft and stays on the green due to the spin generated by the wedge. This is the most important club in your bag. The putter is used on the greens to put the ball in the hole, as it is designed to roll the ball smoothly. Wow. That's quite elaborate. Interesting, though. Now that you've understood the basics of golf, here's how you can play golf competitively. There are four majors, three of which are the Masters, the US Open, and the PGA Championship, all played in the United States. The fourth one is the Open, also referred to as the British Open, and is played in the United Kingdom. In India, PGTI, the professional golf tour of India, is the apex golf body. The best part of all, Haldi Golf County and Bhuti Golf County will soon be hosting a tournament. Golf courses are demarcated by geography. Links are golf courses located in coastal areas. The Parkland course is a golf course in a lush inland setting, one with well-manicured and watered fairways with roughs and greens. Haldi is a parkland course. Well, golf is a classy game, so it has a certain etiquette to it. You got to remain quiet when someone is taking a swing. You should always repair your pitch marks on the green. Never hit the golf ball if there's a group in front of you. Here, Ashish, why don't you try a shot? If your shot isn't perfect, stay calm. Try another one, Ashish. Oh, nice shot, Ashish. Thank you. At the end of the round, thank your fellow players with a shake hand. What tops it all is, show up on time and yes, have fun. <laughs> sure. Now golf is gathering steam in Asia too. Loved by everyone for its class and health benefits. The Royal Calcutta Golf Club, established in 1829, is the oldest golf club in India. Through the decades, the golf's rise in India has been remarkable. Now, India boasts 230 golf courses, out of which 100 are defense-owned. 
60 are public and 70 are private golf courses. How was the game, Paji? Oh, great. Had a lot of fun. How about you, Ashish? This made my day, sir. Both the game and the place, they're amazing. He's into. He's totally into the game, Paji. Definitely, sir. I mean, what would be more fulfilling than playing the most swab of the game? Well, that's good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paji. I'll take your leave. See you, Ashish. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right. You want to live on the golf course? Please join me in the next segment, where I'll tell you why you should buy a property on the golf course. Yes.